first thing we're going to do is run the code. So here I just hit the run main. I can select by typing an integer. So uh, I want to run the easy code BFS, the easy problem BFS code. Those are the results. I can run hard BFS results. I can run, let's go for medium A star one. Those are the results. So the eight puzzle is a class that extends an abstract based class puzzle and it defines the legal operations to, that you can perform up right left down the goal state, the initial state, the successor functions, which allow, which perform the legal operations on a state to get um, the possible successors of expansion, and then um, defines the heuristics that evaluate. The real meat of the A puzzle is the successor function, and it essentially uh, returns a list of nodes that are successors to the state or the current node that's being expanded. Um, and it does that by finding the blank index of the state and then running the right, left, up and down operations on that state, turning them into nodes, and if they're valid states, returning them as a list. Uh, and just generally, these, these uh, operations are clever little tricks with index locations of the, the blank tile index. So in general, uh, search is the um, a abstract base class and that has a node list, uh, the two hash maps to check for duplicate states. Uh, it gets instantiated with a puzzle to solve and uh, solves a puzzle and in the process by essentially adding nodes to a list to be processed. Um, and so this add to node list is really the, the meat of the difference between these different uh, classes. So uh, Solve is the same for everybody um, and is written using tail recursion instead of regular recursion, which saved a lot of time in processing. And add to node list is really the main difference between BFS and DFS. And for um, the heuristic searches, add to node list is the same. The only thing that changes is the evaluation function that decides the location of where the node gets placed into the node list. So solve essentially removes the first element of the node list, returns its state, adds it to the hash maps of visited, um, and then uses the successor function from the puzzle and uh, places those successors onto the in the node list. Um, place successors is where duplicate detection occurs, and I will show you that. So place successors <laughs> do our duplicate detection. Um, it takes a list of possible successors and goes through each of those nodes. Um, and if it if that node exists in the node list hash, then it is a duplicate, and we have to decide what we're going to do to it. Um, if the state has not already been visited, then a cost calculation has to be done to see if the node being evaluated actually is um, higher cost or less costly than a node existing, and then it actually replaces a node. Other than that, um, if it is a duplicate, it, it won't get added. So the queue, the processing queue, uh, is called node list, and it's a linked list of nodes. And depending on which search algorithm is being used, the nodes get added to this list differently. So for BFS, which is where we are now, the nodes get added to the end of the list. For DFS, the nodes get added to the beginning of the list. And you can see those are the only two differences between those two. So for heuristic search, it's actually a little bit more complicated because nodes have to be added, um, essentially inserted to, to create a sorted node list. So a node gets added in a position where the node before it is less and the node after it is greater than according to an evaluation function. And I just used a standard insertion sort technique. So the values used to sort the node list by will depend on the different functions. So for greedy best first, it's just a heuristic of the number of misplaced elements in the node. And for the two A stars, it's a heuristic plus a cost. For the first A star, it's the number of misplaced elements in the node. And for the second A star, it's um, the sum of the Manhattan distances for each of the misplaced nodes. 